Florida Democratic Chairman Rod Smith, thanks for joining. Good to be here. Okay, we've got polls out that show that uh, this is hard to believe. Uh, Obama is about as unpopular in Florida as Rick Scott. Well, I didn't see those numbers, but I know that, uh, as would be predictable in these economic times, the, the, uh, I, I know he's not where he wants to be. It's a year and a half or a year and three months away. I'm not worried about that. I also saw that I've seen the polls of where Congress stands. I've seen the polls where the legislature stands. So people right now are predictably unhappy. Our economy's in a difficult time. But I will tell you that I, I think the, the president's in the perfect position. I saw where... Uh, I think Perry is uh, probably their leading candidate right now. He beats Perry in Florida. He will beat Perry in Florida. Uh, the, the audience he's speaking to tonight will not be the audience that, that elects the next uh, the next uh, president of the United States. I think that uh, certainly the governor uh, will be a slight issue in this campaign, but I think it'll be really about are we, are we seen as fighting for the middle class? And if we are, I think Democrats will do well. Obama won Florida last time with really largely on the strength of independence. Uh, not just the base, with a lot of independents. Sure. Ford knows you're from an area that uh, knows conservative Democrats, swing voters. What does he have to do, assuming the economy doesn't dramatically rebound as few expect it to do, what does he need to do? I think he has to put out a program that, like he's done, and have the Republicans be seen as obstruction, uh, obstructionist. If, if, if people think he's trying to be constructive and they're trying to be obstructive, at some point in time, their low numbers will translate to their candidate. Uh, I think that it's also... Uh, I think among the swing voters, I think he, this week has been a, an important week for him with some Jewish voters in this state because I think he's, he stood four square with Israel this week in, in New York. I think Perry hurt himself with that constituency by essentially trying to undermine the president at a time when he should have left it alone. So I, I feel like we'll do well with swing voters, but they are by and large voters that we have to convince that we're fighting for their interests. Uh, redistricting at this point, we're still looking at some very last-minute maps, probably. Oh yeah. How are you guys going to deal with that? I know. Every well, I, I mean, I, I'm pleased about the court decision down on on fair districting. I think I, I, that was predictable. I thought we'd win that. Uh, the maps I'm seeing, like the maps everybody else sees, every day they're different. But I, uh, I, I, it'll end up in the courts, and I think we'll have lines drawn that give uh, Democrats uh, some fair districts to be competitive in. Someone asked me the other day, how many seats will you win because of redistricting? I said, none. They said, what do you mean? I said, you don't elect anybody by redistricting, but we get opportunities to win. If we go out and do the blocking and tackling required of us, if we raise money, recruit good candidates that fit that particular district, we'll do well. Last question. What's the worst date you ever had with your wife? Or the best? You know what? I, I honestly have to say I don't remember ever having... Uh, a bad date with, with my wife. I, 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 I should think, ask her. But I started. I was just going to say. However, uh, I, w I will say that uh, our anniversary is next week, and the worst date will be if I don't get home next week and plan on that anniversary. Uh, but up till now, I, I, I have had just. I've been blessed. I'm like most men. I'm married way over my head. Is she still fuming that if Hillary were in office, she'd be in much better shape than Obama? I won't say that, but I will say that there's no turning changing the fact that she's a huge Hillary Clinton fan. Okay. Rod Smith, thanks a lot. Thank you.